Well, I'm Anthony, and I want to talk about uh, Framework and their support side, their BIOS support specifically. And I think this is one area that Framework has been kind of lacking. I did reach out to get some comments from them as well as they actually posted while I had the questions out to them, they did post something on their support site in relation to you know 11th gen and 12th gen BIOS because uh, if you do have a 12th gen, you've probably noticed you, there has not been an official BIOS release for this laptop yet. Now, there has been CVE, security issues known to them uh, that they've reported. There was a uh, email last year in November saying, hey, you're getting Thunderbolt and it's going to be here. As And there was a beta BIOS for that, but that has been all. So they have officially said in their blog, we went through that in another video, saying that there was support for Thunderbolt, yet it's not officially here. And as this keeps going on, they've had another release of for the th Framework 13 and then that announcement, they've said we're going to get a bigger battery, which will be supported through BIOS. And this keeps on adding up, and there's been no deliverance on that on said BIOS. And, you know, it's it's one thing to, you know, have a new product to enter the market and, you know, you might be a little slow in supporting it. It's another thing to come out and say you have this feature and then we are, you know, 10 months later and we still don't have the feature. Now, I thought that there was a lot to go on there. I can see different reasons why you may schedule things differently, may um, go through and have some issues, but... You need to get on top of this, and with my questions being out to Framework and them having a response, I think that this is a good point to kind of get back in and see where they're at, because if you are trying to break into businesses, which they've said, we've talked about that in another video too, where you know Framework wants to enter the business world and sell the business products, you're going to need to support the bio side as well. They're going to want support on the driver side, making sure that there's not going to be security things, and making sure that there's you know updates enough to you know harden against some of these security issues, as well as showing that you have support for your products more than just you know the initial release. And I think this is where it came down to finally somebody realizing it in the framework organization we need to get better at it and let's read some of their uh, thoughts on this as well so they have this this is in the 11th gen I'll go over the 12th gen but um, they, they said that they are in uh, just to note that we are in a release of preparations for our next BIOS release at the moment the 11th gen we do have the Windows version of the next beta release currently but we have been delayed in preparation for the Linux version our goal is to always have be able to release the Windows and Linux versions simultaneously. Starting with this release and going forward, we're ramping our BIOS release process overall. Uh, our mission is to focus on product longevity and ongoing software support is key part of that. We will be sharing more details on this, but here are some of the changes we'll include. One, they will be launching a beta. We'll be sharing the target schedule for promotion of the beta on final release. Our default schedule will be two weeks. If we see feedback from the community is good around the regressions or other issues of the release, we'll determine whether we need uh, additional time in beta or the f on the following releases before final. In each case, we'll make sure the community or make sure to communicate any ske uh, scheduled changes. We are working upstream with suppliers to get dedicated staffing in place, sustainable software development, and this means that we're able to resolve some of the delays we've had thus far. Timely BIOS releases. None of that. No, note that with this, we'll have a dedicated support in place within Framework with an upstream supplier to us, uh, Compile, and upstream supplier with them in cell, in cell. I'm sorry if I mispronounced those companies' names. However, there is, it would still be a supplier further upstream that, you know, is either Intel or other silicon kind of vendors that may have less visibility or control over. So the, I think that is a good response. I think the big thing is, is their schedule of change. You know, they, they say that this is a repairable laptop. And while it may be a repairable laptop, and they say that they are in, in there to write to repair, if you do not support something, you don't really have a repairable laptop. In fact, you got a brick that after a year, you are going to then have to upgrade it with another one of their boards. And I think this is a great 
place to be because businesses are going to want like three to five years out of some of these laptops. They're going to want to be able to go through and say, hey, this is, you know, something that we're going to commit to. You're going to have to support it for three to five years. Where's your BIOS and your drivers in this, all this? And I think this is a good realization from framework to say, hey, we got to correct this. Now, uh, I, I hope that they are going to stick to the guns and put this out because you have people that are willing to test and everything else for you already in your community, which is a great additional test out there to see how well these bios are operating and probably drivers as well. But, you know, leaving it as a unknown for so long really created doubt inside the community on if this is something that you're really supporting. So coming out and addressing it finally was the right thing to do. And I'm glad they finally have. And, you know, going over the 12th gen, we've been, you know, uh, <laughs> waiting for that one for a while um, as well. I, I, let me jump back over here. They're just copying response from the 11th gen. Um, details on the uh, firmware for the, or the 12th gen firmware are similar. The actual firmware itself is complete, but preparation updates for both Windows and Linux have been slow and challenging. This is partly because of the number of individuals firmwares across the systems that correspond to each other and each other that are beginning update that are being updated together which is more difficult than an embedded controller only or UEFI only update so the, it seems like that they are they're having some development side stuff that they have to get ironed out that's fine just communicate it Right. I think the biggest um, thing with a lot of companies is that they feel like they have nothing ready and they feel like we just have to hold on and we're, we're not going to communicate anything. Uh, well, it's fine to communicate and you should communicate. Just don't over deliver or over promise. Or I should say, oh, don't just don't over promise, but eventually over deliver. Uh, <laughs> well, been a long day. But what I mean by that is don't go saying, yep, tomorrow we're going to have this out. Next day we're going to have it out. It's going to be amazing, whatever else. Um, go out and say, we are having an issue, and we need a little bit more time to make sure we're ironing this out so that you can have the best experience when testing this beta BIOS so that we can get out and not potentially, you know, in this case, brick a laptop or have an issue. Um, you don't have to be that severe, but communicate that there may be problems. Communicate, you know, that you have a plan of attack and that we're going through it. Like you're saying, our plan is, you know, to go through two weeks to adjust the schedule, to communicate that schedule out to our users so that they know what it is. You know, you, you are a smaller company, so you're trying to break into a market. And since you, you have that, you're not like a Dell or a Lenovo or an HP that have been, you know, known to release bios quite regularly you have to build up that trust especially if you're going to the business market for that and so you know while i wish that their press area would have gotten back to me and would have answered these questions which is kind of disappointed in that area um, when i did email them and did reach out their support were more than helpful and i do appreciate support that is very fast and communicative so one thing i will say is that i did not go through conventional mentions w w methods with their support which is submitting online which you get a fast response with i went the email route they were very fast very responsive they did a great job i have to say that that part of it seems to be ironed out their support line from at least my interaction with them now, you know, having that other support and staying on top of these bios, I think is going to be crucial. I, I think that they are, you know, looking back at this, I, you know, even as, you know, myself, I'm a developer by day. And from my standpoint, I bet you that they're kind of kicking themselves that they weren't able to get a bios official release before the 13th gen with the new battery got out because that's just, you know, it's just delaying and it's a multitude of things that are stacking on top that you're all trying to solve. And, you know, maybe it just had to be this way, right? Maybe development ran um, just this way and you got too far down, you can't pull stuff back, a, a whole b bunch of multitude of things happening. But at this point, being able to go through and, you know, say, this is our schedule, this is how we're doing it. We're changing things, we're making things easier on you. You know, our, we had to do another configuration change. We're, you know, all this other stuff, as you're communicating it, 
you're putting the customer at ease, you're putting the customer saying that we're still committed to your product. We're not only about right to repair, but we're about to be, we're also about being committed to your product for having longevity so that just doesn't go to landfill. So you can use these products for a long time. I think that that goes a long way. So, um, you know, I asked them about the, you know, their support to approach and a lot of this kind of addresses that on how to do this. And, you know, I was concerned about the business side of things as well, um, especially with expanding your product line. Right now they have a framework 16. Should we expect better um, stuff uh, and better information, better bios releases, better, you know, drivers and more dedicated? Or should we see some of the same things we've seen from the 12th gen? I think that this, you know, this little um, post was trying to address that we are trying to get better at it. And I hope that's the case. If not, I'll be making another video about it because I have a framework and I'm paying attention to it. And, you know, I bought another one for my wife. If you're not going to be, you know, up to date at trying to, you know, go through and support the product, what's the use of getting the product? Even if it is repairable, it's still not supported. So with that, let me know what your thoughts are. Are you satisfied with their response to where they've been at with the bios? If you're someone with the framework 11th gen or 12th gen, or do you think that this kind of clears it up? Would you like to see a couple releases from them? Like I, I th I'll make my final decision after a couple releases are through and they'm actually standing by their word. But what, what are your thoughts? Do you, would you like to see a couple of releases to make sure that they are on track and actually following through and actually doing the communication that is needed. Let me know in the comments below. I want to thank you so much for uh, helping and supporting Gray Overload and helping this channel grow. I really do appreciate it. Hit that uh, bell icon, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. It really does help with the channel. And until next time, God bless.